What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Super exciting news today. I had to make this video because a lot of you guys know I'm a Toyota fanboy. I owned a Tundra before and I kept telling everybody I want to get the new Tundra, possibly. And today's a big day, June 18th, 2021. Toyota decided to uh, release official pictures of the 2022 Toyota Tundra. And bam, there it is. Look at that. Pretty cool, right? Uh, I think the overall design looks good. I like it. Um, I know people are going to say, oh, I don't like it or I like the older model better. I get it. Um, it's one of those things where a lot of times you see something in the pictures and it's okay. But then when you see it in real life, you're like, wow, that's way better than I thought. And hopefully that's the case with the new Tundra. Also, too, they have a white truck with a big black grill that kind of looks overboard, right? Too much black from top to bottom. I think if the bumper was color matched to the body it wouldn't look so crazy right like a, a catfish <laughs> so i think there's potential for it to look way better even in pictures if they just color match the bumpers or if you're an overlander off-roader you know rock crawler whatever someone who likes to lift and customize trucks you probably already know what the first thing is going to be changed and upgraded that bumper Take that bumper off, put an aftermarket bumper on there, and I think that truck will look badass. Especially um, with some kind of, you know, cool um, high approach angle type bumper that can put a big uh, winch um, inside the uh, bumper. That'll look good. I sold my old Tundra double cab and I'm ready. I mean, I am primed and ready for a new truck. And um, I don't know. This new truck, it looks good. I think it looks really good. I think it looks like a big Tacoma is what it looks like. A really big Tacoma. And that's not a bad thing. I like the new Tacoma. It's it's um, got some good lines. The DNA is very similar. It looks like a big brother of a Tacoma. Everyone keeps talking about the powertrain. Uh, they haven't uh, released any official um, specs on what the motor's gonna be, but everyone on the internet keeps talking about twin turbo V6 and uh, the whole planet is going away from the v8 so that makes sense pretty sure it's going to be a twin turbo v6 if anything that's going to be the base motor and then they'll have some other options like i don't know um, a hybrid v6 or an all-electric uh, tundra who knows we don't know or who i hope they don't do a four-cylinder that would suck if they did a four-cylinder hybrid <laughs> that would be lame uh, I'm not a big fan of those uh, if you're gonna have a full-size truck you should have a big powerful engine personally I wish this is what they would do I wish they would do a naturally aspirated v8 for the North American market and then sell that to us because there's a lot of guys that don't want that and if the rest of the planet doesn't want it offer a v6 twin turbo and then offer a hybrid V6 that gets gas electric, and then do like a Ford and do a full electric and have an entire, um, like an entire fleet of vehicles to choose from, depending on which country wants what, right? So it, I think that'd be the smart thing to do, but who knows, who am I? What, what, what do I know? I'm nobody. Um, like I said, I've been saving up my money. I sold some cars, I sold some guns, I sold all kinds of stuff uh, to save up for a new truck. So I don't know, guys. Am I going to get the Tundra? I don't know. I've been really looking hard at the Ram, especially the uh, Prospector XL. Yeah, the Prospector XL has really, the AEV Prospector, if you don't know what that is, there's a picture of it right there. That's badass, man. 40 inch wheels, um, lift kit, suspension. It just looks badass, man. Uh, the interior on the Rams are amazing. By far the best interiors uh, of all full-size trucks, hands down. With that 12-inch screen, best interior for sure. Uh, also, a big fan of the Godzilla Ford F250. My neighbor just bought one. So, seriously thinking about buying one of those. It's naturally aspirated. It's, it's a big V8, 10-speed transmission. So, I don't know. Let's go ahead and do a channel update real quick. I'm going to SEMA. I got uh, my approval 
going to SEMA in November of 2021. So I'm hoping that some crazy guy at SEMA, because it's known to be over the top, is going to have their hands on the new Tundra and they're going to have it lifted with suspension wheels and tires and all kinds of overland gear at SEMA in November. So stay tuned to my channel. I'm going to film everything that I can because I got to make up for last year since they canceled it on me and on all of us. I'm going to make up for it and film all kinds of stuff at SEMA this year in Vegas. I can't wait. So excited. Excited for the Tundra. Excited for SEMA. I'm excited for Overland Expo. I'm going to that one too. Um, Overland Expo this year has been pushed back to uh, late August and I already got approved to go to that too. So whew, it's going to be exciting. Uh, two months to Overland Expo and then four months to SEMA. It is going to be awesome. I, I'm just like a kid in a candy store. It's such a great time to be a truck guy, an overland guy. Good things are coming. And uh, just excited. I can't wait. Hit that like button to support my channel. I appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Ring the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the new Tundra 2022. How does it look to you guys? Ugly? Cool? Does it have potential? Should I buy one? Should I not? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Take care.